Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna take you through a step-by-step -step on some ground metal artwork that we're gonna be doing. This is an eight foot by four foot piece. It's aluminium composite panel. We've got candies in this video, airbrush artwork that's going on. We've got LEDs that are going on this as well. So I'm gonna stop talking, let's just get straight into it. Right, the first stage on this guys is to round these corners off on all these aluminium panels. As you can see in the far corner, there's two there that are completed. I'm just going round now with a four inch disc grinder and sanding off these corners and making them smooth. There you go guys, there's the corners complete. I've just radiused them all off so they're all identical, ready for the next stage, which is gonna be projecting the artwork up. As you can see there, I'll put a piece of paper on, centerpiece, I'm just tracing round to make a stencil, two-part stencil for the next piece. Now we're moving on to the primer. This is 2K high build primer. I'm just doing a primered edge. This is the bit we're gonna be working on, that we're gonna be doing the painting on for the airbrushing. Two good coats of the primer, and then we'll move on to the next stage, which will be the base coat on this. There you go guys, I'm now starting to put the base coat in. This is a Ford Frozen White. I'm giving this two good coats of the base coat. There you go guys, there's the stencil removed and that's the outline of the image in the Ford Frozen White. Now we're just going back in, projecting the image back up onto that piece we've just painted in the base coat and just penciling out the image. There you go guys, as you can see there's the image all penciled out, that's what we're going to work from when we start the airbrushing. There's another close up there, they're just the pencil lines. And now we're moving on to the airbrushing guys, I'm working from a tablet as you can see there and I'm just starting in with the blacks, going around just putting in, looking at the reference, just dropping these in and working my way through it. Just building up the shapes. This is mainly black on this. We'll be dropping a bit of silver on the knuckles there. You can see that's Ford Moondust silver on that. On these little gray bits, that's all silver. Because later on, we're gonna be dropping candies on these little dot pieces. And on the headphones there, you'll see in this next step. There you go guys, there's the candy colours, that's on top of the silver there. And now we're moving on to the ground metal stage. I've just hit this with a four inch grinder and just put a random pattern all over it. Just missing this centre artwork, just grinding these three panels, as you can see there guys. Dead simple to do, just go in nice and light and just do a random pattern. Now moving on to the next stage, I've stenciled out the centerpiece and we're going to start dropping the candies on. I made some stencils for this. These are like paint runs, as you can see, when red's gone in, we've gone in with the blue. Now the next stencil, we're dropping in the green candy. There you go. And then this is the completed candy. So it goes red, blue, green, and then a candy gold on the top. The next stage is to, where these paint runs are, is to drop shadows in and then put highlights on the paint runs. There you go guys, there's the paint runs in and you'll see the black just on the bottoms and then you've got the little highlights on the drips that are coming down. That's just to give it that 3D effect. Right, we're moving on to the stages of the clear coat now guys. I gave this, Three good coats are clear. I'm using the Roberlo Chronox 610 on this for the clear coat. Just getting them edges there. And I get this three good wet coats and give it plenty of flash time, about 10 minutes flash time in between coats. I 
I'm using the Deville Bliss DTI Pro Light with T110 air cap, guys. Right, this is after the clear coat. We've got a few nibs to do in this, but that'll be the next stage. But that's how the clear's gone down, guys. Nice and glossy. And now we're moving on to the next stage, which will be wet sanding this back with the grades you can see there. And then the polishes that are used are these ones here. Menzerna Heavy Cut the ultimate compound right this is the finished panel now guys after the flight and polish right the next stage is going to be the LEDs guys the way I did this was I made a timber button as you can see glued that to the aluminium board and then stuck the LEDs around there and they're color changing guys And there you go guys, there's the finished panel. That's located on the wall in the customer's house. You've got the glow around the outside of the LEDs. There you go, there's the finished panel again guys. Just a bit more footage on that. That's the effect you get with the ground metal. When the light hits it, it just looks 3D and really pops guys. That's really come out nice, nice and glossy. See them candy colours really popping now with the light on it. So that's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed this guys and I'll see you all in the next one.